Good morning, mighty men and women of God. Today is Friday, March 26th of 2021. What does it mean to be a true disciple of Jesus? And how can we tell if we are a true disciple? I've heard it said that a true disciple has given up their right to say no to the Holy Spirit. More specifically, the Word of God tells us in Matthew chapter 10 that true disciples will experience suffering because of our allegiance to Christ, that we are to carry our cross and follow Him. As this world gets crazier by the day and more outspoken and hateful toward Christian spiritual values, becoming a true disciple requires that we count the cost. And, brothers and sisters, there will be a price to be paid. So today, this morning's prayer considers the cost of becoming a true disciple of Jesus Christ. Father, you have directed us to go out like sheep among wolves. Therefore, we are to be as shrewd as snakes and as innocent as doves. Father, cause us to be on our guard against men, for they will hand us over to the local authorities and discipline us in their houses of worship. Because of Jesus, we will be brought before governors and kings as witnesses to them and to unbelievers. But Father, when they arrest us, let us not worry about what we will say. Because at that time, we will be given what we should say, for it will not be us speaking, but your Holy Spirit speaking through us. And in these days, Father, brother will betray brother to death, and a father is child. Children will rebel against their parents and have them put to death. All people will hate us because of Jesus. But Father, you promise that we who endure to the end will be saved. You have instructed us not to be afraid. There is nothing concealed that will not be disclosed. All things hidden will be made known. What you tell us in the dark, Father, we are to speak in the daylight. And what you whisper in our ear, we must proclaim from the housetops. Oh, Father, you have taught us not to be afraid of those who can kill the body, but not the soul. Rather, we should reverence you who is able to destroy both body and soul in hell. Your word says, Father, that whoever acknowledges Jesus before men, he will acknowledge us before you in heaven. But whoever disowns Jesus before men, he will disown them before you in heaven. Father, you did not send Jesus to this world to bring peace, but a sword. If we love anyone more than him, we are not worthy of him. And if we do not take up our cross and follow Jesus, we also are not worthy of him. Father, these are hard sayings, but help our understanding so that we can be in the light just as Jesus is in the light. Father, it's in the mighty name of Jesus I pray this morning. Amen. This is Jeff with this morning's prayer, praying that you have a great and God-filled day today. Shalom.